This video contains 19 calls made by Alec Murdoch while in Richland County Jail. You will hear Alec talk to Buster, John Marvin, Liz, Randy, and Lynn. In these calls, Buster and John Marvin inform Alec that his lawyers, Dick and Jim, need payment. John Marvin also reveals the total cost of their representation. Take a listen. Hello, this is an Amtel operator calling from Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center with a prepaid collect call from... Alec. Hey, Bill. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Hey, you don't know where Buster is, do you? Yeah. He's right here with me. We over here at the, the Eddie Bennett's office in Walterboro. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I was um trying to call him. So. He uh, he told me earlier we were both talking about we didn't have a charger and and I think his phone has has died on him. All right. Um, how long y'all gonna be in there? Uh, we'll probably be in here not much longer. Tell Eddie I said hello and thank you. I will. I will. So you want to talk right. to Buster real quick? Yeah, real quick. All right, hang on. Hello. Hey, did you tell me you're going to meet tomorrow? Um, I did, but I actually, um, that's actually been postponed until next week. Um, Hubbard had something come up that just said he had something come up and asked if we could reschedule him, and I told him that I'd be remainder in the week, um, doing work in Charlotte so that I wouldn't be able to meet with him until next week. So, what day y'all meet next week? I don't know, he's supposed to be getting back to me. You anticipate there's some any problem, or you think it's just a legitimate conflict? No, I think it's a legitimate conflict. We had a we had a firm time for tomorrow that was unflexible on my part, and obviously he had something came up that he needed to push it back a little bit. All right, I'll call you later. Then I love you. Get, is that what? Is that why you were calling? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be in touch. Like I said, it it well, won't be until I'm not next week. Be able to, I, I just can't call as much as I was where I am now, and I'm very limited in the phone. So. Um, I'll make sure I get back in touch with you. I love you. All right. Love you. Proud of you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Lizzie. Hey. <laughs> what you doing? Well, I just made a big old pot of chili because it's Man, cold. Man, I wish I could eat some of that. God knows. <laughs> I know you do. Oh, man. You just have no clue what this food's like in here. Is it terrible? Oh. <laughs> Lizzie. Oh, my gosh. I think it's worse than my food. What? It's worse than my food. Oh, my God, Lizzie. It's, you know, you ever eaten like, you probably never had any, like, real cheap meat where it's real mushy? Probably not. It has no texture. Mm -hmm. Any meat you get is kind of like that. It's got no seasoning and it's cold and anyway. It is what well, it is. Um, nobody's, stealing, nobody's stealing your food, are they? No. <laughs> you no. know, that happened to me. What? You know, I, I stayed in jail one night. Did you know that? No. I had a DUI, and um, and it was actually a felony charge, too, because um, it was failure to stop for blue light. And um, my parents were in the back seat with me. Anyway, so the night that I stayed, I had to eat breakfast the next day, and it was crushed pineapple and a boiled egg, and the ladies, like, they really did take my food, and I was like, it's okay, I'm getting checked out, and I'm like, any minute, <laughs> you can have it, <laughs> but it, it was bad, and the coffee was real bad, but you don't drink coffee, do you? No, nah, I mean they don't. It don't matter because you don't get coffee in here. Though. Oh, you don't? No, no. I mean they give you a tray in the morning with like this morning it was like I don't know three microwave pancakes, and they always throw them in the grits. And they get all soggy. Yeah, and then like there'll be boiled eggs and. It was sausage one day, sausage and grits. It was just that little mushy sausage. Anyway, but I mean, that's okay. It ain't no big deal. Um, you know, eat enough to not be hungry. And, um, you know, this stuff from the canteen fills you up. You just, you know, 
the worst thing is it's not doing anything, you know, it's just like you're rotting away. I was trying to do push-ups. I did push-ups for like, I mean, a bunch. I did like two, three hundred push-ups in a day, but for some reason it started when I was straining, it started giving me this terrible headache right in my temple, so I quit. Well, um, I wonder if you could maybe do sit-ups. Uh, or mountain climbers would be good. What's mountain climbers? It's like you put all fours on the ground, and like your head is facing the ground, and then you just kind of run in place. On the ground? But like, yeah, on the ground. Okay, that'll wear your ass out. And another one you could do is burpees. Do you know that's what a burpee you, is? That's like an up-down where you get on the ground and then stand back up. Yeah. And and you can add to it, like you can do a squat when you come back up, or you could do a push-up when you go down. I need to do something. I haven't done anything since I quit doing push-ups. So. Well, anyway, um, I called John I, and uh, Buster, and they were meeting with Eddie Bennett, so I figured I'd give you a call. Well, I'm so glad you did. Um, yeah, they left a little while ago. It's... Um, 2.20, so I'll be leaving here shortly to go go get the kids and bring them back home. But um, You want to hear something funny? Hold on one second, okay? Listen. Hey, can you hear that? What are they? Are they yelling? Yeah, that's just dude. He's been out of his cell in two years because he gives. They say he had a shower in a year, but anyway, he does that all night long. He he yells just like he was right now. So anytime anybody's up, we bang on his door, wake his ass up, he gets shit. That's what he comes over there. He says, "You honky." <laughs> anyway, that's what he starts that shit about midnight when the lights go out. 11.30, and he does it. So we've been keeping his ass up all day so he don't do it at night. And he gets shit. I mean, he gets shit. He pulled his pants down and moved me a minute ago told me to kiss his ass. Uh-uh. He's white or black? He's an old black guy. What's he in there for? I don't know. He mean as hell. I mean, you know, I don't ask anybody what they in there for. You know. Is that just kind of like they don't? Wait, do they ask you? Mm, no, people just not talk about me. it. No. But well, um, I wondered. Do you think should I call Jim? I feel like I need to get advocating for you get somehow. What? I feel like I need to start advocating for you somehow, but I don't know what to do. No, there ain't anything you can do. Uh, well, I just. Do you feel like you still need to be in therapy, though, or the rehab, I mean? Well, I mean, uh, if I ever get out of here, I'm, they got scheduled set, set up to try to go back for some aftercare, just, you know, step down. I mean, um, well, I mean, do you feel like that that is... So what you need to do? Well, I mean, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, you know, all this stuff's recorded, so um, uh -huh. I'll, I'll get with you. But, I mean, yeah, I think, I mean, definitely, you know, I mean, it amazes you what, you know, you think you come in there's jail and there ain't no drugs, but that just ain't the case. But, That's sad, isn't it? I mean, I just I think they're just so understaffed they just can't keep up with it. So, mm -hmm. All right, I love you, old girl. I just want to say hello, and I'll be in touch. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I did um mail a letter. And I can't wait uh, to get it. Come on, mailed it. Kitties, I said hello. Well, I'll do it, and um, I mailed I mailed it in two separate packages. Mm -hmm. um, I mailed our letter to you, 
and then like a doctor's letter and some pictures. Um, and then in a separate separate envelope, which is bigger, is the little painting that she did for you. And I'm just I hope that they'll give it to you, but it's a it's you know, you it's know. like a it's like an eight by ten. It shouldn't take long. Well, so tell them thank you. Friday. I can't wait to get it, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I love you. Love you, babe. Bye bye. Thanks for calling. Okay, bye bye. You made my day. Hey, buddy. Hey. Am I catching a bad time? No. What you doing? Nothing. We're just watching Yellowstone on TV. How, how'd you like that guy today? Eddie? Yeah. He's fine. He seemed capable? Mm, well, you know, he's going to be good at doing the administration, administrative stuff, but I still think you need to find a litigator. To do that, I agree. I agree with that. Anyway, hey, um, how did Carolina do Saturday? Good, they won. No, uh -huh. We beat Florida? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what? I don't know why I had a feeling that something like that might have happened. You know? I mean, it's so weird. We played at home or at Florida? At home. And how bad did we beat them? 40 to 17. How did that happen? I don't know. Did you watch it? Yeah, watched the whole thing. I mean, we came out and played good offense? Yeah, enough to score 40 points. Had them 30 to 10 at halftime. The defense didn't score any? Yeah, defense had a, a stupid score. God. 30 at halftime? Mm-hmm. I just can't believe that. What was Slaughter's record? Mm, five and four now. So they were, they were five and three? Yeah. What are we? Five and four. That's better than I thought we were going to be. No, 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 no. We're, we're, um, yeah, no, five and, yeah, five and four. We beat East Carolina, Troy. Who else? Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Eastern Illinois. Eastern Illinois. In Florida. In Florida. And we lost to Kentucky, Tennessee, Texas A&M. And Georgia. And Georgia. So we got three games left. Yep. Clemson. Auburn. Auburn. And who else? Missouri. I got you. Ten four. All right. What, so y'all get back to watching Yellowstone. I'll, I'll um, I'll give you a call later. That's what I really wanted to know. Um, all right, well, I need to talk to you about some things. Um, John wanted me to ask you your opinion on we're, we, we've got two people in our sites to hire them as the litigator. Um, one dude is the, is the David fellow that you were apparently in contact with prior to. David Sojourner? Yeah. There's no question he's the best if we can figure out how to afford him. Mm, okay, and then the second option that is apparently out there is some lady named Tiffany. Tiffany Provence. Yeah. She's a very good friend of mine. Um, I don't know. Let's talk about that. Uh, I'm not sure David Sojourner is going to work with us very much on, you know, he's going to want money up front. Yeah. As is Tiffany, but I don't think Tiffany will be as is expensive. Um well, and I mean, uh, at the exception of those two, are there, is there anybody else that we should contact? Uh, David Sojourner is really the person who, you know, he's the one I talk to about all the estate stuff. I mean, he's the he's one of the lead guys on all of that stuff, like. He's the one I really want to get Grandma and Papa T to go talk to. You know? Because here's the deal. If, if This is the absolute truth. If you can be sued, okay? In other words, if I declined and then you declined, and then 
We had no contact with Papa T about what to do with that money. None. Which we absolutely got to make sure we don't do. If, if you could be sued, you could only be sued for what you got. It couldn't be sued for anything well, I'm, there. Well, I'm not being the PR anymore, so that's really not an issue. Why? Because people think it would, would, would have been an issue. Who does? Well, I mean, everybody. Eddie thinks it'd be an issue. John Taylor thinks it'd be an issue. For you? Or not an issue, but they just... I guess they don't They don't say that it's an actual issue. They just say that they think that it'd, it'd be a lot of... I mean, personal representatives inherit money every day. Well, they just seem to think that with everything going on and scrutiny is everything, it'd be a better idea for me not to be it. So who's going to be it? John. Well, I mean, that's basically the same thing, isn't it? Basically. Ten four. Um, yeah, let me sleep on that tonight, and I'll give you a call tomorrow. But, I mean, David Sojourner's definitely... I just don't know if he's the person. I mean, we all we need is somebody to to lift the list pendants, right? Yeah, and you know the list pendants is is negated by a statute, so it's not it's not like a black and white thing. I mean, they shouldn't be able to meet the requirements of the statute. Matter of fact, not they don't meet the requirements of the statute. What? It's not black and white. No, it is. I'm saying it's not like gray, like some of this other stuff. I got you. But I mean the the I mean the precedent of the list pendings is a statute. So when they don't meet the requirements of the statute, there's no way somebody can rule with them. I just don't. Um, I don't know. I need to think about that. David's more of a an estate planner and stuff like that. I don't know that he's necessarily a litigator. Um, let me sleep on it, and we'll talk tomorrow. Okay. Everything else okay? Brooklyn okay? Yeah, everything's fine. When I y'all were tied up the day I called Lizzie, I got to talk to her for a minute. Yeah, that's what she said. I need to get Brooklyn's number, so if I can't okay. get you, I can get her. All right, I'll give it to you tomorrow. And um, it's just she. I mean, she's probably not going to be able to set up an account while she's at work, so you'd have to call her after five o'clock. I understand. All right, man, I love you. All right, love you, too. I'm proud of you. I'm sorry you had to do all this stuff. It's okay. You always say that. But anyway, I love you. All right, love you, too. I'm very proud of you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Hey. Hey. You up? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Where are you? John and Liz's. Hey, when when um when I call you, does anything show up like my numbers or anything here? Mm, just says customer service. It doesn't show my ID or anything. No. Nah. Somebody wants me to call and tell his girlfriend he's in jail. I didn't want to do it if there's any way to see my info. Well, I mean, when you answer the phone. The automated thing says, you know, this is a collect call from the name of the jail, and it, I mean, your name is stated. All right. But that's it? Yeah. All right. I mean, that person is going to have to set up an account and talk to you. Yeah, but is it going to be my name? Yeah. I mean, what do you mean, your name? I ain't going to do it. All right. You going to Rocky Hill today? No, I'm going to Columbia today. And then to Rocky Hill tomorrow? Well, Charlotte tomorrow. Charlotte. Ten four. All right, well, I can tell. I, 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 I didn't know you might not be up. I'll, I'll, I'll try to call you later. I am up. I'm, I've been up for hours, but I swear. Oh. Ten four. Were you doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
Who won Monday Night Football last night? I don't even know. I don't know. Y'all watch Yellowstone? Is the new season out? Yeah, but they've never seen it before, so we're just quite rewatching it. Ten four. Ten four. All right, I'm gonna call you a little bit later to talk to you about David and um, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, you can call it, you can call it, you can call about it, you know, I'm going to pay for it. What time do you think you um going to be on the road? Not on that late in the afternoon. Mid-afternoon? Yeah. Maybe I'll get a, maybe the, the timing will be at the same time. So. It doesn't matter. All right, boy, I love you. All right, love you too. I'm going to take a shower. I love you. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. What you doing? Nothing. At work. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, see. I, I thought you were going to Charlotte. Oh, you went to Charlotte yesterday. No, today. You went this morning? Yeah. Ten four. All right. Well, I, I don't want to interrupt you. Anything else going on with you? No, just here until Friday, and then I guess going back for the weekend. Okay, well, I'll try to call you later then. That's okay. I mean, anything going on? Nah, nah. Just this whole place is getting kind of filled up. I was hoping I'd get moved back upstairs across the way, but um, there's people over there now. I just don't get out much down here. Yeah. Uh, you know, but it is what it is. I'm getting ready to call Jim and see if there's anything new. You, you know anything new? Mm, no, just going on with, um, you know, these assets and stuff like that. What do you mean going on? Well, you know, they throws all the assets and they have two receivers now and all this other stuff. I think Dick and them are appealing that. Well, Dick and them aren't aren't in charge of it. It's Tiller. Yeah, I know, but I think they're going to take it over. I'm not sure. Um, But then I learned that Tiller and Mark Tinsley are friends, so I don't even know if he's doing everything correctly. No, he is. I mean, Tiller's sort of friends with everybody, but, I mean, he's definitely better friends with... I mean, Tiller's 100%. It's one of the reasons we chose Tiller because he has a relationship with Tinsley, with Tinsley being so volatile. Okay. Um, Brooklyn okay? Uh, yeah. That's fine. Ten four. All right, well, I just wanted to check on you. i got to call Jim, and if I can, I'll call you back. All right. I have such limited time that I just wanted to say hey. Okay. Love you, buddy. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Hey, bud. Hello. Hey. You still in Charlotte? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to talk long. I'm almost out of money on my account, and I, I, I have to call them back to put more on it. All right, well, I can't talk with a second anyway, so do that, and I'll try to call you tomorrow. I was just checking on you. Okay, uh, have you called John Have you called John Marvin? No, I haven't been able to. What What are you doing with your retirement account? Um, I, I don't know. Hopefully nothing. Well, why did we get a letter saying that changes have been made to it? You can't afford to lose that money. No. Um, and and if Jim and Dick are putting the pressure on you, then you got to talk to us and let us figure something out because that can't. I mean, that really can't afford to be transferred out. Um. All right. I'll so whatever down. changes you did, you you need to try to revert them. I didn't know I made any changes. Well, did you get permission to somebody to make changes? I mean, Jim and him talked about it, but I didn't think we did it. Well, did you sign something? They shouldn't be able to do it without you giving some type of consent. I don't think so. Let me, um, I'll call John Marvin tomorrow. I just wanted to call you because I'm going to be in here for a while. What do you mean? 
I mean, the judge ruled and did not, is not giving me a bond. <clears throat> Ten four. You say why? I, I, Jim's going to come out here and bring the order. Well, I mean, what did Jim say? Jim said that I, I, I didn't really get a chance to talk to him very long, and it was obvious he didn't want to talk about it on the phone, so he said he'd be out here. Um, so I assume he's coming tomorrow. But I would think at least 60, 90, 120 days or something like that if, you know, I don't know. I'll call you when I know more. Have you heard right. from the law school? Um, <clears throat> no, I haven't. I'm, I'm going to send Hubbard a follow-up email tomorrow. You send him a little polite when you're saying, just check him back with you. I know. You know what to do. All yeah. right, love you. Put more minutes on your phone and I'll call you tomorrow. All right, love you too. Bye. Bye. Good morning. No, I... Hey. Where are you? Greenfield. I tried to call John Marvin. This is the first time since um, I talked to you on Thursday. Been able to call. Mm -hmm. Did he talk to Jim? Yeah. So, wh was it anything that's a big deal? Yeah, it's a huge deal, but there ain't nothing we can do about it. What is? What, what did they do? Jim just says they got to get paid, that they haven't been paid, and that they need to be paid now, or else they can't continue to do any work. When did he say that? Said that to John Marvin. So they did more than just transfer it from Ronnie Dennis? I mean, from somebody, from Dan Parker to somebody else? I don't know what they did. I don't know what they've done or what they're doing. I just know that they said they have to have money, and I think the only way to get any money at this point is to take the penalty for accessing your um, retirement account early. Well, Jim Alvin was mentioning something else about getting a loan and then paying it back out of... I don't think we need any more loans. Huh? I don't think we need any more loans. Even if it avoids a penalty? I don't know. So where is John Marvin? Um, inside. Where are you? Outside. With who? Uh, I'm out here about to start Randolph's uh, golf cart for him or get a gate cart or whatever it is. I got you. Did y'all have a good weekend? Yeah, we haven't done a whole lot. I um, We hung around this night and watched Carolina lose in football and uh, played poker last night. And, uh, went to Who did you play poker with? You have one minute remaining. I only have a minute left because I don't have money but um, on my account. But it was me, Fred, you never, John. You never put more money on it? I just haven't put more money on it yet, no. All right, well... I'm going to try to call John again right now. He didn't answer a minute ago. I don't know. His phone's probably somewhere different. Did you win or did you lose? I, I won. Good. You, Fred, John, and who? Mark Bowles and Scooter. <laughs> well, good. What would y'all play? A little bit of everything. How much you win? Like 200 bucks. Cool. Who was the big loser? Uh, John. <laughs> Your time is up. Hello? Hey, buddy. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, Good. I saw you called earlier. I just picked my phone up and saw it was on vibrate. Yeah. I talked to Buster. Um, after I talked to him, he told me you're inside, so I called. He ran out of time. Make sure he puts more time on his phone. I'll do that, and I need to do the same. Ten four. Yeah. Um, did you figure out what that was, that Buster, that retirement thing? Well, it, it's a letter, um, I guess, from Jim requesting it to be moved. Um, so, Alec, the gist of all of it, to, to kind of get to the nuts and bolts, is 
but you've got to decide, do you want to get into that or not? I talked to Jim earlier this week, and, and he pressured me pretty good about getting paid. I don't yeah. know if he's done that with you earlier this week. Okay, like what day? Um, Thursday, maybe. Okay. Maybe Thursday or Friday. No, I think it was Thursday. It was Friday morning. I'm sorry, it was Friday morning because I met with the receivers on Friday. I met with um, with John Lay. Hey, you know what? One more thing, John. You need to go get some of that stuff out there at Moselle that's yours that we borrowed from you. Um, yeah, so I've gone out there and, and I've gotten the. Uh, Gotten most of that. I know what you're saying. Um, I'm thinking like that saw you, uh, that table saw you lent us, that that packaging thing that's in the skin and shed that you lent us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, and I'll go out there and get that. All right. I mean, there's yeah. a bunch of stuff that that Paul got. I know there's the a bunch. Of, yeah, I remember. I remember when I mean, he got that. I mean, there's Milwaukee tools. Um, yeah. I'm, there's all kind of stuff out there that's yours. Well. I've gotten most of the stuff, and I and I know most of the stuff that was mine, so that's that's easy enough to identify. But, but it was a long big thing, item out there. Yeah. So long story short is we we met with them, and um, Randy and I did, and it was a it was a pretty decent meeting. Um, actually, it was a good meeting. Uh, but Randy and I, I'm sorry, Jim called me on Friday before that, and was was you know. I think they're you gotta make some decisions of what you wanna do with your retirement, I guess is what it boils down to. Well they're doing a lot of work. I mean I understand it. It's a catch twenty six. Have you talked to them about what they're charging? What? Uh, have you talked to them about what they're charging? No, not exactly. Not in detail. I, well I think you you ought to have those conversations with them and, and figure that out. What I heard was well over five hundred thousand dollars. Well, and I, I just don't know. Well, I don't know what to do. But I, I, you've got to put some thought into that, and and they're they're wanting to get into your retirement money to get paid. But the only thing that's been sent so far is moving it from the Dan Parker to somewhere else. That's my understanding. And there's no penalty for that? Well, no penalty as far as the retirement. The question is, by moving it, does that open it up? Does it become yours in that transition period to where it becomes available to the receivers? And I don't think it does. Have you talked to Ronnie? I have. I talked to Ronnie. You talking about Ronnie Dennis? Yeah. Yeah, I've talked to him at length, and... um and he he has questions about it, but he's not he doesn't think it does, but he's not sure. Did you talk to Dan Parker? No, I've not talked to Dan. So, right. I guess the the question is, do you want to get into that to pay them? Well, I, I mean, what's my other? I don't have any other options. The only other thing yeah, I can do is take out a loan somehow and pay it out of Daddy's. Stuff, but I mean that or or assets are going to be sold. So I, well, I don't know how how Moselle is going forward either. They've asked me to, to to be the PR for Maggie, right? But I have questions whether they will go back to where you transferred it to her and undo that transaction. And if they do, then that asset's in your name. I understand. Um, the receivers, point blank, I asked them, and, and like I said, it, I thought it was a good good conversation, but I asked them, I said, listen, you know, we want to pay Alex legal fees, legitimate legal fees, everything's legitimate, but we want to pay these. You know, how do they go about getting paid? They said all they got to do is petition the court and ask for payment out of these assets. And Jim did not want to do that. When I asked him, I said, Jim, I said, the receiver says if y'all petition the court, the court says yes, y'all can get paid out of these assets, you know, as a creditor. 
you know, they're they're not, you know, they don't have a problem with that. But Jim, when I said that to him, he just he said that's not going to happen. That they would never allow that, and it, it it's almost like, you know, boy, I, for whatever reason, I've gotten, you know, I know Jim's doing that. And, well, I, I trust Jim a hundred percent. But I just feel like they're at a point they're trying to get the easiest money they can to get paid what they're owed. Not not because it's something they're not owed. No, I understand. So w- what do you think the chances of getting a loan against the inheritance are? Um, you know, that's a good question. For 600000 I I don't know if that's the amount that's owed to them. That's, who, that's the who, other who thing I told you that said. amount? Jim, he said he and Dick are both charging two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and they want fifty thousand dollars. I'm sorry, not six fifty, five fifty. They want fifty thousand dollars of expense money. All right. Well, I got to have a conversation with him because I mean that's different than what I mean. They talked to me about those numbers one time, and I just said, you know, that's too much for a civil case. See, that's when they quoted me when. Those guys first started talking about right after David Owens accused me. Right, that's right. So I include, think you ought to have, have that conversation. All right, yeah, let, me, I, let me. Jim's supposed to be coming to see me, and I'll call him in the morning when we're not on lockdown, and then I'll try to call you tomorrow afternoon. Get today. to the nuts and bolts of that. What? Hey, I said, get to the nuts and bolts of that, and let me know. I probably. You know, I, I'm sure I can borrow enough money to 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 get you what you need. You know, with the assurance that I can get it back. You know, well, obviously I'd have to pay it back in some form or fashion. Uh, I mean, we got to figure out. And I don't mind doing it if we can use that money from Hanson. Well, that's right. And there's questions about that going on too. Um, they said that there was some money that was paid from you to Daddy. That they're questioning them whether that's legitimate money. <clears throat> but I just don't, you know. I I feel confident that I can. I would. I think it's safer to borrow against something than to to pull out of retirement. And for. But I think you you really got to put some thought into the you know the process, and I'll help in any way. All right, I know that. Well, let me let me get, let me find out when he's gonna come out here and sit down with me. Yeah, I I would talk to him, man. I just I feel like that's an awful lot of money for what, you know, for something not going to trial. All right, uh, we already had that conversation with them one time, and that was, you know, that was if they charged me. Right. You know, with Maggie or Paul, but uh, man, how are they going to do that? I mean, that's so crazy. Well, and that's, uh, you know, Dick kind of was being Dick and kind of gave me the scare tactic that, that, that that's, you know, it's a possibility, but, you know, man, I, I just don't believe that. Well, I mean, anyway, all right, let me talk to Jim and then, um, so you talk to Dick too? Yeah, that was on the conference call with both of them. That's what. See, all right, that's what. That's what the deal is. All right. I, I'll, yeah. Um, yep. I, 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 see, they came out here and had that conversation with me. I called Jim and said, "Man, I'm really concerned about that. I've got, you know, the likelihood of me getting law license back is nil." Um, you know, and, and we had a, a good conversation, but let me let me talk to him again. Yeah, talk to him and let me know on that. All right, and um, good deal. Everything else okay? Buster's okay? Yeah, yeah, Buster's doing doing well. Um, you know, he's he's been he's staying with us and he's doing good. He's uh, you know, all things considered. What about his law school? I'm glad you just said that. So I talked to him about that, and he is on schedule to go back. He's talked to the dean, and he says everything's good. Um, When did he – I thought the dean canceled the meeting. 
when they canceled the meeting because they had a personal issue, not not nothing to do with Buster Bunch, thing, but the, he just he basically Buster assured me everything's okay. And um, but what did um did he did he get any of the money to pay for it? No, no, I'm gonna take care of that. So that's no issue there. Well. Don't don't ask, don't even worry about that. I promise you. I mean, whatever it is, I don't want him. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm gonna just leave it here. It, it, you have no concern, no worries with busting your financial. I promise you, I will take care of it, just like you would for me or anybody. Or Randy, Randy said the same. Bart said the same. So he has no issues. Gentle. Yeah. So that that everything is good there. Have you talked to Bart? Yeah, Bart and I talk probably once a week. Make sure you tell him I said yeah. hello. Uh, but they're they are very, very supportive, you know, with everything going on, and they just, you know, they're disappointed in, in, in one side of it, but they're still so very supportive. There's nothing changed there. I'm disappointed in myself, Dave. Well, you know, man, don't. You know, at this stage, it's a matter of figuring out what's what's been done and and finding a way to move forward to to get better. That's all we're gonna do. So did Jim talk to you about this latest order? What order? Where he's just not. You know, he recently. Oh, hold on, I, lo- I lost you there. Want to say that again? You know, they, uh, all right, he withheld bond pending an evaluation, right? Yeah. Then he, they got him all that, now he said he didn't get a bond. Oh, since that order? Yes, last Wednesday. Well, when I talked to him, they were appealing the fact that they weren't given bond. Well, that's right, but I mean that's a you know a ninety sixty minimum of sixty days ninety day process, and they're probably going to delay it longer than that, you know. Right, I, I didn't know that. So anyway, all right. You have one minute remaining. You only got one minute. Tell us to put some more time on this phone so I can call him, and I'll, I'll call yep. you tomorrow. Okay, and I'll do the same. All right, love you. Okay, love you. Bye-bye. Hey, buddy. Hey, Lizzie. What you doing? <laughs> Same shit I'm doing every day. <laughs> bunch, bunch of nothing. Um, what y'all doing? Well, I've had the last 24 hours off. Um, everybody went to the farm yesterday, and they stay here. And went to church this morning for... The first time in a while, and that felt good. Then just been be back around the house. They haven't gotten back from Green Hill yet. Well, they went to Allendale, I think, to um, wherever Randy Field is for a dove hunt, and um, so they they should be probably walking it up to the summer start. Did Buster go too? Yeah, he went too, and um, Brooklyn came home though. Um, and all the kids are there, so well, good. I'm sure they'll have lots of stories. Well, I talked to them briefly. I need you to do me a favor. Yes, sir. All right, you got a pencil? I can grab one. Three things. I hate to bother you with it, but you don't only want to trust. You yeah, I'll do it. What you need done? Timely. Remind Buster, Buster and John Marvin to add time because I'm going to have to call them and do business with them. we got some business to attend to this week. So okay. So both of them are out of time. Make sure they add time. Okay. Number two is figure out how to, something in this place has got my allergies just sneezing and nose just running like hell. And I understand that family has to bring medicine. So I need... Okay. I need um, to, to get a big bottle of Benadryl and figure out what we got to do to 
get where it's got to get. Okay. As soon as possible. Do you, is there a particular milligram that you want or the just whatever? The strongest one they got. Whatever, whatever you can find the strongest. Now, I think, yeah. doesn't Benadryl sometimes have drowsy versus non-drowsy? We just have it, doesn't a matter. It's, it, it doesn't make me drowsy. Okay. I okay. want the strongest one. I mean, my nose poor. I've been through a roll of toilet paper today and three quarters of a roll yesterday. I mean, just no. But anyway, and the last thing is, is I don't know exactly what you got to do because I can't talk to anybody. But will you talk mm-hmm. to somebody here to figure out if there's a way to get books to me, paperback books? I actually um, made that phone call. What now? Um, I made that phone call, um, I guess it was on Friday, because my mom, had, she was researching books for you, and there were two books that she wanted to mail. And the website, the Alvin Escrower Glenn website, still says that you can mail books. But the two times that I've talked to Jackie, the lady, the mail clerk lady, mm-hmm. she's told me both times that they don't, they don't allow for us to send books. Because, I mean, there's a dude in here that has books. I don't know how he gets them. Well, I mean, I can I can certainly send you, like, I could try to send something. I do know that I can't mail it directly, that it would have to be something from Amazon. So let's just try it. Send, tell me what you want to do. Yeah, I know that. Any kind so, of Grisham or Pat James Patterson or Pat Conroy, any of that? Grisham. Pat Conroy or Patterson. James Patterson. Okay. Yeah, I know him. Um, I think actually one of the books was a Grisham. I was just going to have to text from my mom. Well, I hate to be bothering you with all that. You know, well, I'll try it, and if they, you know, reject it, then we'll know. But, I mean, Jackie, I've, they, I've asked her specifically because I just know that that's, you know, at least you can fill your mind with something. Right. And if I'm you have on, a book. I'm going to have you I, asked, I get out have of you asked, so little. What now? Have you how does how has the other fellow gotten the books? I don't know. I don't know. I guess he's been here so long. I don't I don't know. Maybe his attorney brought him in which I don't know. Um Well Jim Jim did say he could maybe, you know, I don't, I don't want to I don't want to give him any reason to, you know, fuss with me. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, oh, check on uh, that. Check on that for me, and I'll try to call you uh, uh, when I can. Okay. Well, um. You enjoy the rest you of get, your time. I love you. Well, um, real fast, did you get your um letter from my space and me? No, not yet. I didn't. You didn't? Hopefully, I'll get it tomorrow. When did you mail it? I mailed it last Monday. Yeah, it took Lynn. When Lynn mailed something, I think it took six days, and maybe maybe because it's the weekend. Mm-hmm. I bet I get it tomorrow. Where, where do you do you have to like go somewhere to get the mail, or do they deliver it to yourself? <laughs> go somewhere? No, there ain't no going anywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, um, no, they bring it to you. They bring it to your they bring it doorstep. They, they, they bring it to the, um, you know, in the middle of this whole thing, there's a place where the corrections people sit, and they bring mm-hmm. it there, and then they'll either bring it to you or tell you to come get it. So, well, you tell all the kitties hello, and... Um, don't don't forget those three things. Yeah, I'll work on that. Um, the latter two, and I'll tell them when they get home to. I'm to glad you had 24 hours off. Enjoy your last few minutes. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I got to end my last few minutes with you. I always Me get too. excited to see you calling. Thank you so much for everything you do. I love you. I love you too. Hang in there. Talk to you soon. And I guess, do you know this? Because um, I talked 
I called Jen the other day, but you do know that they've, um, I don't know what the words are, but made an appeal to get to get you out. I did. Isn't, you mean that? Okay. I think you probably did because that's kind of happy. Thank you for calling him. I know you're worried. Well, I just, I want to do something and I just don't know what to do except go know you letters. there was something you could do. Just the thought means everything. Well, I'll pay for you all day long. Well, thank you. I can feel it. Okay. Well, I, I'm I'm reading a good book right now, so maybe I can see if I can, I'll send you those. What's the name of it? Um, it's called Proof of Heaven, and it's written by this neuroscientist that um was in a coma for seven days, and just his experience of I mean, huh. he claims to be on the other side, and just his experience of of God and and of heaven is really remarkable. Wow. And I mean, he's still alive, and he's uh he went to Chapel Hill, I think, for medical school, and um it was on the New York Times bestseller for years, and um my friend told me about it yesterday. Actually, the friend that's the author that lives up in Maine, I've told you about her. And um, she was she she's reading it right now. She's like, you've got to read this book. It's fascinating. Well, good deal. Well, let me know how it is, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Love you. Love you. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, hey, how are you? Good. Did y'all get a car? Um, yeah, we did. Uh, Mel found a little Mitsubishi garage that she likes. So, um, little tiny thing, but that's what she wants. So. Well, good. Good. Y'all doing all right? Yeah, we're doing good. Doing good. Just kind of, you know, the same old, same old. Nothing going on, so. Oh, shit. I promise you I understand that. Yeah. I can only imagine. Bored out of my head. I talked to Lizzie. She's gonna to try to get some books here and get with her. And that's one okay. thing y'all can do to help me if y'all can get ship some get books. Some yeah, they have to come from a, a not just a retail t- place, but a like an actual bookstore. So like Barnes and Noble or someplace like that. I've read a little bit. So, what kind of stuff do you like to read? I told Lizzie any kind of Grisham, a James Patterson, a Pat Conroy, anything, anything to okay. kill the monotony. I mean, I, okay. I read a book every day and a half, but the dude yeah. run out of books. Yeah, okay. So, so you don't have your stores anymore yet. We'll get we'll get some stuff to you, and um and do that and um Go make sure you call him. Yeah, he's doing good. He's actually ran out to the grocery store right now, but he's doing good. Tired of driving yeah. back and forth to North Carolina. He, he yeah, he, he went um. I'm trying to think. He did he did go yesterday afternoon and nothing was moving. Last weekend. How about the kids? They're good? Yeah, they're doing good. They're doing Tell good. Them I said hello. I sure will. I um only hey, have a few minutes. Okay, gotcha. Um I know that um they've got some visitation stuff that they can do. Are you open to us coming up and seeing you? I mean I'm Break open up the you don't a little get bit. To do that, Lynn. Um, the only visitation they have is via video, and uh, I mean, y'all don't need to worry. Y'all don't need to take the time to do that. So they're they're not allowing like in person visitation. No, not my my understanding is it's all video. Okay. So Cause the, mean, the the website still says you can do it in person, but only two people per week, and you have to schedule it ahead of time. So. Well, I think it's two people per week, and it's, I don't know, you check on it, but I don't think it's in person. I think okay. it's all video, and, I mean, it's just like, I pick up this phone, and there's a video screen back here, just like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where it is up front. Gotcha, okay. Not a, not a whole lot of point in traveling to see a video, if you could, you know, Hang on. What you talk want? to you on the phone. What you want? He said he'd tell us. Um, 
I mean, I appreciate you thinking about that. I yeah, I was just thinking it might be something to break up your your week a little bit, but um, you know, just I think they only let you is. be here for forty minutes or forty five minutes, and okay. it just seems like a lot of trouble for y'all. All right, well, I'm not that far from you. It wouldn't take me but an hour to get there, you know. Yeah, but, I appreciate anyway, you thinking. So. Well, um, what do that? Um, about that. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm hey. you know, I'm doing okay. I'm oh, good. Um, if now that you're stuck there for a while, I was hoping they were going to let you go to uh, to get back to a rehab place. But are you doing some rehab kind of stuff, counseling or something while you're in there? I know sometimes they have access to it. No, I, I don't do anything other than read books and you know. They, I, I, they're, they're supposed to allow access to that kind of stuff. I don't know. That might be something we need to ask the lawyers about. On the other hand, I'm not sure you want special attention. Yeah. I it's mean, a fine line, isn't it? I'll ask them. I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, just to just to kind of maintain, you know, what I you started. It is special attention. It'll be what they have here. What they have there, yeah, exactly. But um, but if, they, if they've got stuff, Go on and access it and, and kind of keep on the track, you know? That's a good idea. Okay. Um, I dropped a card in the mail to you on Friday. Yeah, I didn't hear what they said. I didn't hear what he said. This, this is, no. he, he does this every night starting about 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, geez, Ari. It makes for a long night. No sleep. But anyway, what were you saying now? Um, I said I dropped a card in the mail to you. I can't remember. It's Thursday or Friday, so you'll probably get it tomorrow. But, um, but anyway, well, so now, you. and, yep, you're welcome. Check your account and make sure you got enough money to make your order Wednesday night. I don't know where you are. You should have enough. It's Tuesday night, and I'm, I'll yeah, check Tuesday. it in, in the morning to see. Yeah, uh, check it and make sure, and, um, and let us know if we need to add something. I think you're okay this week, and we might need to do some stuff for next week. I think I was okay last week, and I'm think, I think it's, I'm, I think I'm down to, I think I'm, I put in for a haircut for $7, and I think okay. that left me like a dollar and something, but I'll, I'm going to tell you then we do need to add some to it for for you to make that order. You can't spend but sixty dollars a week. Okay. Yeah, but still, you, I, if you're I, down I, to a dollar, I'm trying not to eat this damn. You know, I, I was eating all these damn snacks and chips and all that. I'm trying yeah. not to do that because um, I know yeah. it's gonna get fat. But um, the food a little bit there, okay. I got to get some clothes. I got to get like some stuff on there that. That isn't food this time, like um, socks and t-shirts, yeah, yeah. And, and they're a little more expensive. Okay. But you can still only spend sixty dollars. But yeah, I'm gonna have so. food left over from this week, and I'll have food left over from next week, I hope. And then, so the following week, I'll get my sh- sh- shirts and, and stuff. I'll put in an order on Tuesday. So thank you. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Just let us know. And um, and we'll do that. And um, you know, whatever we can do to help you. Um, yeah, I know you want books. And just, what about like crossword puzzles or anything like that? Do you do that kind of stuff? I got a book of crossword puzzles, but um, okay. I tell you what, I, if they let you give it here, you bring it. If they let you give it to me, I'd love to get some of those little magazines of you know those logic puzzles. Yeah, yeah, where you have to think out clues to who did what or whatever. Or, yeah, whatever. I'd love to get yeah. a thick book of those. Okay. That might, that can be something we can look for. It. So, hey, I got um, to run. I'll call you soon, look, okay? Love you. Okay. All right. I love you, Alex. Bye. Bye. Hey, Bo. Hello. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, Bo, I'm in Allendale. If we get cut off, it's because of this reception. I, it, right now, it sounds good. Today. Yeah, we did. Bucky came up, man. He did good. He killed his limit. Mary Marvin killed. She killed 11, but the first dove hunt she's ever been on. Dang, that's pretty good. How about that? Yeah, it was, uh, it turned out a good hunt. It was, it was, I was a little nervous because we sat around for two hours and no birds came in, but then we, about the time we were going in the field, it started coming good. They did. Yeah, yeah. How you been doing? 
I'm doing all right, you know. It's bored, but I'm doing all right. Yeah. Well, what was all the, the bullshit about the judge denying bond based on some finding from some doctor or something? I don't know. Is that what happened? That's what uh, when the newspaper said the judge denied bond again. Uh, based on, I think it said based on a report from a, uh, either a psychologist, psychiatrist, or a medical only, doctor or something. The only person who submitted a report was Donna Maddox. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that nobody else did. You know, and I, I just, I just saw a little bit in the paper. I mean, I didn't I haven't seen anything. the order Jim's coming out here, but he read, he read part of it to me, but he, we wait and talk about it when he came out here. He would come out here one day at the beginning of this week. Yeah, you know, he told me he was going to go out. In fact, actually, he told me he was going to go out Saturday, what he originally planned to do. But, uh, you know, I went to a wedding on the Fusky, and he was very nice. He said, you know, I could use this house. I could use his golf carts and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't use it, but it was very nice of him to to uh, offer. Good. Yeah. Sure hey. was. What would you think about inviting him to a dove hunt? Yeah, I'd like to get him. I've already told him I'd like to have him come. And, and he's a member of the Dove. Yeah, he told Go me we're not a per- I just I told yeah. him your deals are best, you know, that's your passion, and they're the best I've ever seen. I'd get you to invite him yeah, to I'd, come. Yeah, I'd like for them to come. That would be good. Um, well, it would have been good to have him. Good hunt. Everybody else is good. Christy and the girls. Yeah, man, good. everybody. Everybody's doing good. Yeah, the girls are doing good. Uh, Mary Elizabeth had a function down in Savannah. Caroline stayed in Columbia. She went to some sort. She went to a K. Ultra Road. Shut up. Okay. I'm on the goddamn phone. All right, what now? Who's that you talking to? This stupid fucker. He, he runs his mouth all the goddamn time. He don't shut up. Oh, my God. He's another person that's in there? Yeah. He's been out of cell in two years. Damn, Bo. What's he doing in a five year county I mean, jail? No, he talks to himself. He's just yelling. He ain't talking to nobody. He ain't talking to me. Oh, really? I'm just the phone's That's... close to his door, and when he starts yelling, it's hard for me to hear. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, everybody's, everybody is doing good, man. Sure is. Um, well, check and, the posture um, for me. I know John... You know, I mean, I know he's down there, but check on him as often as you can for me. Hey, man, I, I tell you what, you know, I don't really know how he's doing inside and all, but, man, I'll tell you, he's he's a strong kid, man. He's amazing. Um, I mean, I, I can't say that he's all right, but you know what I'm saying? He's handling it like like you couldn't imagine. So, you know, he's, he's doing good in that regard. I mean, every time I talk to him, he says he's okay, you know, but, I mean, God knows well, I know. The way he's okay, you know. Well, and that's why I say I don't know if he is or isn't. But but I will tell you, Alec, he is he is very mature about you know his approach and everything. So I mean, you can't help but be very proud of him. But um, but any event, just check on him when you get time. I, I will. Hey, and Alec, we are um, we are. I asked Lynn to go ahead and work on getting the um, headstone for Daddy, and I also asked her to go ahead and and look at some headstones for Paul and um, and Maggie, and and she's going to do that, and then we'll send you pictures, and then see what you think, and then after you've looked at them, our plan is to to let Marion look at them, and. Um, and see what she thinks. Okay? Ellie? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, um, I'll get the pictures of Jim whenever we, um, it's going to be a little while before we get them back, but, and then, uh, and then ask him to, to take them to you and, and look. All right. All right, man. Well, listen, right. I appreciate you calling me. Please, please call me anytime. You. Love you. All right, bro. Love you, too. Bye. Hey, Lulu. Hey, yeah. Hey, last thing. 
I tried to call um, John and Buster. Don't have any time on their phone. They got to get some more on it. Um, okay. And I talked to Buster briefly um, yesterday, and I talked to John briefly, and they both okay. were, the one minute thing came on. So yeah. They, they. But I talked to Lizzie earlier, and she's getting them to put some more on it. But I forgot that I tried to call her back after I looked at the thing. We, we, you and John Army get together and and put. I have. I have 56 cents left. Yes, yes. We will get, and you have to place your order Tuesday, so we will get that done tonight and or tomorrow. Will y'all try to do it tonight? So, because I just learned, yes. like, these clothes and things that I need to order, like the uh-huh. thermal shirts for the draft in here. Um, yeah. They, they, um, they run out quick. Okay, yeah. So you need to go on and place your order. Yeah, we'll get it done tonight. Thank you. Love you. Yep. Absolutely. Love you, Alex. Talk soon. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey. So, what you doing? Nothing. John and I are at um, Green Swamp. I just tried to call John. What y'all doing down there? We um, there's a uh, there's a new parcel of land that they purchased that contains a house on it. Yeah. And you can rent the house for a week. And um yeah. and John rented it, so we're staying here for the weekend deer hunting and stuff. Oh, well, that sounds fine. Good. Yep. So you, you doing all right? You working remotely? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Just bored as hell, you know. I think they're understaffed out here, and they go on lockdown a lot. And when they go on lockdown, that's just it. You don't, I mean, you don't come out. It's just boring as hell. Right. Have you have you hunted yet? Uh, no. So we got here way after the door so We stayed the night, cooking food. Just John and I, and um, and then today there are some. There's multiple people coming. Um, um, scooters coming. Would you invite some of your friends? Um, no, I mean, man, we just got a full slate already. Tell okay, them, boy, I just said hello. Hello. Um. I just tried to call John Marvin. Tell well, I'm John with Marvin. John. Do you need to talk to him? No, I don't. Tell him that I, this is the first time I've been able to use the phone since I talked to y'all on, actually the Last same week. time I talked to Liz on Sunday. Um, I, I tried to call y'all, but I think y'all were hunting. Okay. I heard you did good hunting. How how did you hear anything about it? I talked to Randy. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Well, but I, I just get, you know, I show up to a dove hunt and automatic limit. I hear you. I hear you. Um, tell you what, did, um, did Randy tell you how good Mary Marvin did? Yeah, I got 11. Yeah, 11. First time that she shot, and um, John says first time that she, she shot, you know, hunted a dove. What kind? What kind? What gun does she shoot? She shoots. Um, she shoots Paul's old Fidelity, doesn't it? Doesn't she? That old used model Benelli? I got you. The, the wooden one. So, right, what do you want me to tell John? Just tell John that Jim and them are coming out here tomorrow. That I haven't talked to them. I just talked to Jim for the first time since I talked to John Saturday, and yeah. that I'll give him a call. You know, when I can after that. Okay, well, John said he wants to talk to you, so I'm going to give you the phone to him. All right, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, I love you. Love you, too. Hey, man. Hey, bud. How you doing? Bored. But I'm doing good, you know. Right. Good. Right. Okay, good. Hey, um... Apparently, Ellen, according to Randy, the newspaper said something like me being unstable or something. That just that ain't correct, so don't worry about that. Well, I don't, I don't read the green at all. So I hadn't, had, I hadn't heard anything. Um, so, well, and this, is, uh, this is a strange topic, but I've mentioned to you before. There, there are going to be some people that want to pay... Um, for books or, or or interviews and things of that nature. 
Do you know? Do you know of an attorney that, uh, like a media style attorney, somebody that could get to get to did handle it in the proper manner so that it's not exploited by anybody? Or I have no idea. Absolutely. How about no how about idea. that guy Butch? Would I he, don't know. He, I think I think Butch could probably help you find the right person. You know, I don't want to reach out to the normal normal guys that I talk to, but is he somebody that that would be for that could trust and ask me for me to ask? I just don't know, John Marvin. Um, I don't think that's what he does. He's more of a political operative, is what he really is. Um, right. I don't know that anybody in South Carolina is really specializes in that kind of stuff. You know, I suspect that's something. Well, I'm gonna start trying to talk let me to let, me, let me think about it, and let me um okay let me think about it. Yeah, somebody just said, "Well, I just don't want anybody to to take it and turn it and do the wrong stuff with it." You know, I want to I want to manage it properly. No, I get that. I, you know, it, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of, of who who sets it up and who benefits and who who makes sure that it's, it's managed properly and it, 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 the, the truth comes out, not BS. So think about it some and then be back in touch with me on that. I want to I want to get the ball rolling on that in the next week or so just to get, to get ahead of the game. I'll be in touch with you as soon as I can call after I talk to them tomorrow. All right, that sounds good. Appreciate you. Y'all have fun. Is that house nice? Right. Yeah, it is very nice. Yeah, we had a good time. Just the two of us. Well, just the two uh, of us last night. Buster cooked some pork chops. It was good. Well, good. I'll talk to y'all soon. Love you. Okay. Love you. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hey, Claude. Hello. 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 Hey, I want you to do me one one favor. Yeah. Get Blanca's number so when I call you next time I can get it. Okay. And tell, and tell her I want to, you know, just call her and say hello and, um, Explain to her what you have to do and see if she's good with that. What do you mean, like, what I have to do to set up an account? Yeah. Okay. Will you do that soon? So when I talk to you... I'll do it I'll do it today and call me tomorrow. Okay. All right. That's the deal. If All I right. can call you tomorrow. All right. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey, Lizzie, how you doing? I'm good. What you doing? Um, I was just trying to tell you, I got that, I, I got the small envelope, and I, but I got a piece of paper saying they wouldn't let me have the other one. Um, no. Damn, I meant to bring that piece of paper down. Hold on one second, Lizzie. Hold on. Let me go get it. Okay. All right. I can't hardly hear with this old man yelling, so I ain't going to be here but a second. Um, okay. Is that the crazy one? Yeah. Shit. I mean, he does this all the time. Middle of the <laughs> night. All right. The mail received contains items that are not allowed. No pictures okay. greater, greater than 5 by 7 and it was on a hardback cover. Oh, I didn't even think all that. It was just a... Um, did you get the picture though that yes, that I, I got that, the, I got the sweet card, the sweet letter, and the pictures. Okay, well, the, you got the one that says "Be the I and Kind." I did. Well, the, so that's what that's the what the canvas was was just that. That's, that's what I that. That's what I figured. And, um, I'll tell her so they, how much I I'm I'm getting Jim to bring me some paper so so I can. Uh, Send a letter, so tell her I'm going to send her a letter back. Okay, that sounds good. Well, right. tell, um, so I, I did 
call the nurse twice about the Benadryl, and they won't let me mail anything, but they said that you could fill out a form. I did. I did. Yeah. Somebody told me about that after we talked, so I've done that. Okay, and did you know, online it says that they have a library. Did you know that? I don't I don't think that's accurate, but I'll find out. Well, I did, um, I mailed you a book from Amazon, so we'll see. it should be there one day next week. Thank you so much. I okay, well, I was... Luster, so they sound like they're having fun. Yeah, I think they are having a good time. And that house is nice, Alex. That's what I heard. They sent, a, they sent me a picture. I had no idea it was as nice as it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, I'll call you soon, okay? Tell everybody hello. Okay. you. Okay, love you too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Are you in the deer stand? No. Where no, are we you? Left, uh, we, left, we left Green Swamp today. We're not there anymore. I got you. Why'd y'all leave today? Um, I, I don't, I don't know why. Did y'all have a good time? Yeah. Well, good. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. All right. You sound like you got a lot on your mind. No, nah, um, I'm just driving. I just picked up the kids from school. I got you. Hey, um, Buster, did you reschedule with law school? Um. Nah, I needed to I needed to reach back out and I, I got sidetracked, but I'm gonna you, get in touch with them and I'm I'm going up there to talk to them at some point. We'll try to do it sooner rather than later, okay? All right. Will you do that? Did you call Blanca? Um, no, I didn't call Blanca, but I'll do that too. Okay. Will you take care of both of those things? You either tell me you're not going to. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take care of both of them. All right, that's the deal. Look, I, I got it's, um They changed this where I'll, I'll start having I'll, I'll have more access to the phone now, so I'll be able to call you more regular. Okay. I'm losing my breath because I've been trying to exercise every day. All right. So anyway, tell them I said hello. Okay. Where are you staying tonight? In uh in OPT. Are you okay? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. All right. Everything else is okay? I mean, all, uh, all things considered? Yeah. No, everything's good. All right. All right. And I'll buzz you later. And tell Jim Marvin I'll be calling him soon. Okay. All right. Love you. Tell the girls I said hello. All right. Love you too. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey. Hey. Right. What you doing? Nothing, and just got in the bed and about to get to sleep. All right. I won't bother you, Buster. I just thought about it, and I, okay. I, I hope you didn't think I was being short with you today. I mean, I'm basically no, man, I mean, just saying I'm asking you to make that appointment at law school, or I, I just don't want to bug you if you don't want to do it, is all I was trying to say. No, I mean, I, I mean that's fine. I mean, um, I'm going to do it. I just It just hasn't worked out, and probably with the holiday coming out, probably won't. Well, I mean, I can definitely call Blanca, but I might not be able to get set set down with Hubbard prior to that. Well, and I understand that, but just remember, it's important. Even if you don't set the meeting until the week after Thanksgiving, get back in touch with them. Don't wait. Right. Do you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Because I really am telling you, I, I think it's important that you have that meeting sooner rather than later. Okay. And I mean, you were in good shape in November. I think you're still in good shape, but I think you want to have it. If 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 you don't have time the beginning of the next week because of Thanksgiving, you want to get it set that first week of December. Yeah, no, I, mean, I, I don't I don't disagree. All right, well, get your good night's sleep, and I'll call you tomorrow. So I'll, I'll be able to call more. Okay, I love you. All right, love you too. Get a good night's sleep. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, buddy. Hey, you got to talk fast because my phone's about to die and I'm not around the charger. Uh, are you with John? No, no, I'm not. Are you with Brooklyn? Yeah. All right, can you call John? I, I I got two minutes and I'm not gonna better make another call. I need twenty eight dollars on the canteen because it's Thanksgiving. The deadline is ten o'clock in the morning, so I need to order it tonight because I'm not gonna get out in the morning. 
Um, okay. I'll, um, I'll twenty eight dollars. And tell them that I mean my status changed, but they haven't implemented it yet, so I haven't had any time. Tell John that I'll be calling him tomorrow. I'll be calling you tomorrow. I'm sending you a letter. Where do you want me to send it? To John's house? John's house. Alright, and um do they favor I usually text Randy and Lynn on the weekend. Will you text them and tell them I haven't been able to use the phone and I'll give them a call when I can? Um yeah. Alright, so text Randy and Lynn. John Marvin twenty eight dollars is the most important thing. That needs to be done right now. Okay. And I'll call you in the morning. All right, so what am I texting Randy and Lynn? Just tell them, I normally call them on the weekends, but I haven't been able to call them. Just tell them I haven't been able to call. I can only talk for a second, and I'll give them a call when I can. Okay. And John Marvin put $28 on my can. John Marvin and Lynn, they both know how to do it, on my canteen account. Okay. And I love you. Tell Brooklyn, hey, I love her, and I'll call you tomorrow. Start tomorrow should have a lot more time. Like, remember I told okay. you Thursday I was? Yep. But it hadn't come into fruition yet, but it should tomorrow. Okay. All right. I love you. All right. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey, bud. Hey. What are you doing? Now I'm about to take a shower. I got you. You remote today? Yeah, I'm remote until tomorrow and then, you know, Thanksgiving. That's good. Hey, what you? What, what are you going? Where are you? What's your deal for Thanksgiving? I'm doing a little bit of everything. Well, tell me what the schedule looks like. Mm, so tomorrow I'm driving to Charleston, um, waking up, eating Thanksgiving lunch in Charleston, then with, driving with, to Green with the Frosters. Yeah, and going on about the tea. Where in Charleston? Country Club. Where are you spending the night? In one of their apartments, or either on the boat. They got the boat in Charleston? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Is it nice? It is nice. Have you ridden on it? No. Um, so, after I eat with them, I'm going to hang out for a little bit, and then I'm going to Greenfield um, Thursday night, and... I think we're quail hunting on Friday, and then I'll do that, and then I'm then Friday evening I'm driving back to Charleston, and um, we're going fishing on Saturday morning. You, where are you going fishing? Offshore. With 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 in the new boat or with John? In the new boat. So you're going back to Charleston Friday. Friday evening. Is Brooklyn going with you? No, nah, Brooklyn's going with her mom. Is she going with you on any of that stuff? No. Is she doing okay? Yeah, she's fine. Huh? Yeah. Are y'all doing okay? Yeah. Good. You should get a letter today or tomorrow. Yeah, why'd you write me a letter? You can't, you don't want to just talk about it on the phone? I mean, it ain't no big deal, but I just don't like the fact that, I, I mean, I know that every single phone call I make, they're keeping it indexed, and some and people are listening to it, probably multiple yeah. people. Right. You know? Uh, anyway, um, so, are you doing good? Yeah, I'm good. I, um... Jim and them told me they, the grand jury indicted a bunch more things on last Friday, but you know that's just overkill, right? Yeah, I mean, I... I, I mean, they're just trying to pile it on me now, you know that, right? Yeah, I'm aware. But I can take it. So don't let it worry you. So, what kind of fishing y'all doing offshore Saturday? Man, I'm assuming the only thing that's biting right now is water. I mean, she's shit, man. You know, I mean, uh, I'm just kind of going to go on that boat. I mean, Bart ain't no great fisherman. I don't blame you. I'd do the same thing. I mean, 80-foot boat. But, I mean, I figured, you know, I mean, 
people never get, I mean, people very ever, rarely in a lifetime get to go on something like that. That's right. When are they taking it to Key West? Um, ah, uh, you know, I don't, I think, I think pretty soon after the holiday is what he said. Well, good. All right. I sent Grandma and Papa T a letter to. Okay. Um, Dad. So I dropped the phone a second. Um, and so, and I and I'm sending Marion and Bart one too, just to send the crop to the kids a short one. Okay. So make sure Grandma. I guess they should get hopefully get it tomorrow. I'll, I'll um I I speak to him pretty consistently and I'll let him know that to to keep an eye out on the mail. So what time do you think you're gonna be with them? Um I don't know when Grandma and Papa T are coming. I would assume they wouldn't come until the dinner time on Thursday. Well, I'm but I may if I can I'm gonna try to, I might try to call you then and then call one of them and see if you can set it up. <laughs> okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Did you talk to Blanca? Um, no, I okay. haven't talked to Blanca. All right. What, you, I, uh, what am I supposed to tell her again? Just tell her that I want that that I want to give her a call and and explain to her what she has to do and if that's okay with her. What is? Oh, uh, yeah, with the account. Yeah, and will you do that today? I'd like to call her over the holidays. Yeah, I'll do that today, man. Me and Blanca ain't been, ain't been rubbing on the same cylinder. What? I said, me and Blanca. Well, I've, I've got some serious problems with the way Blanca's done some things. Like what? You know, man, I went out to Moselle the other day. She didn't tell anybody. I mean, she's packed up everything at Moselle. I don't know where anything is, so I can't find anything that I want. You know, and, and she doesn't, you know, she calls Grandma and looks for permission to go out there and take Mom's clothes with her and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what, Grandma, you need to tell her she needs to call me. Yeah, she's just trying to help, though, remember that. But just tell her. I mean, tell Blanca to call you. She's just trying to help. Um, also, Aunt Liz. Aunt Liz wanted me to ask, well, here, hang on, let me see if she just wants to talk to you about it. Aunt Liz? Aunt Liz? Well, she must be downstairs now. Um, I'll call, i got to call her when I get off here because she said she wanted to come visit me and let her come. Yeah. Like that. She, well, she's gone to Greenville, and she said that she wanted to ask if she wanted if she wanted her to come visit, that she would be kind of passing through. I, I, I'm going to call her when I get done. They they won't allow that. you got to put in for visitation ahead of time. Okay. I already asked. Ten more. And it's on certain days, and that's not one of the days. And did you get um? Did you get your money submitted for whatever that was? Yeah, I did. Thank you. What What is that? Like you get to buy like a like an right, actual so dinner the, or something? No, nah, here's the way it works. All right, so the canteen... It's not like a room you go to and use a vending machine. All right, the canteen is you go to this kiosk. You know what a kiosk is, right? Yeah. It's like a little computer machine out there. I know what a kiosk is. All right, so you go to the kiosk and you place your order. All right? And you can order any array of things like um, hygiene products, um, this, that, and the other. Then they got, you know, all these foods, tater chips. A, a bunch of varieties of potato chips, summer sausage, beef sticks, crackers, and you can order, but you can only order sixty dollars worth. And you order like you have to order by Wednesday, and the canteen delivers on Monday. So like on Monday they bring you a big bag of whatever you ordered. You so you got sixty dollars per transaction, or like sixty dollars a week, or a week. $60 a week. And, see, like, I had to use some of my canteen to get, like, T-shirts and, I mean, T-shirts, freaking $6. Um, a thermal, you know, 
a thermal top for my size. I ordered a 3X, and it rides up my arms. That was $8. So then I had to get the, the next size they got is a 6X. So that was $12. And hey, I got you. Hey, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I wanted to ask you for a run out of time. If he was the guy, I, I met a fella, and he said that he knew you, and he said that he, like, held me as a baby, but he had, like, a nickname that was really weird, like Calpin or something like that. Say again? I met a fella. He held you as a baby? That's what he said. All right, and his name was what? He said he had some he had some crazy nickname, like, you know, like Calpin or, or Hog, Hog, something crazy, something super country. All right, where was this? Charles, Charleston. He said he went to law school with you. He went to law school with me? Cornbread? Yeah, it might have been Cornbread. A big, tall, skinny fella? Yeah. And he talks a lot? Uh, I mean, I didn't talk to him. I, I don't know. I, I... How'd you run into him? Um, I was at this engagement party in Sullivan's Island over the weekend, and um, the like the father's the, the the father of the girl who was getting engaged like brought him over, me and a couple guys, and introduced us. He was like, "Hey, I need to meet these fellows. They're all aspiring attorneys." And I introduced myself to him. And he was like, "I know who you are." Dan Addison. I don't. I I forgot his real name. Cornbread. Um, but you said it was something like hog or pen? Well, I mean, I just knew it was something country, and I just couldn't remember exactly. Was it swamp? No, I mean, cor- no, it was, it was cornbread, I'm telling you, that's it. So, and, it, and he was real tall and real lean? Yeah. Was he nice to you? Yeah. I did a lot for him. I mean, was he really nice to you? Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Ten four. Um, what was I telling you about something like You were telling me about the prices of clothes. Oh, yeah, and I mean, you know, so, um, like, it's so cold and drafty in here. Like, like thermal bottoms are like 12, 13 bucks. So, I mean, like, one time I had to spend 30 bucks on clothes. <laughs> but all that comes through the canteen, and the canteen comes on Mondays. But I, I got you. And yesterday. And um, and I'll, I'll better call you. you right, so you're going to be traveling tomorrow? Um, well, I'm going to be traveling today. I'm going up to Columbia today because I've got to get some stuff from my apartment, and I'm probably going to spend the night in Columbia, and then I'll be going to Charleston. Um, Buster, do you have your 28-gauge um, for quail hunting? Yeah, but that's all I got. I tried to call Sled um, to request, or I tried to get John Marvin to call Sled to request that I get my guns back, but I don't know if he ever did it or not. We should. So you don't have your 20-gauge? Yeah, I've got my 20 gauge, but I don't have. I mean, they took they took all the 12 gauges and they took all the assault rifles. Yeah. Ten four. But I called I called Jim and asked him. I was like, "Is there anything? Is there anything negative in calling and, and requesting that?" And he's like, "No." And he's like, "Call me back. I'm curious to see what they have to say." But I told John to call him because I'm I, I'm not calling this people. Man. I mean, I got I got All serious right, well, problems with I'm with that entity. Talk to you, and um, I'll be in touch. All right. All right. So you're gonna be in Charleston tomorrow night. Correct. Through little after lunch, then going to Greenfield and Quail Hunt, then going back to Charleston. Well, I mean, there, there's a night in between, so, like, Thursday night I'll stay at Greenfield. Sure, no, I knew that. Okay. All right, well, when is Brooklyn leaving to go home? Um, she'll leave Wednesday once she gets off work, and she's going to Wilmington, um, North Carolina with her mom. That's where her, she's meeting her family? 
Nah, man, it's just her and her mom. What are they going to do in Wilmington? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Just different than Rock Hill? I guess. So where are they going to have Thanksgiving dinner? Uh, I mean, yeah, these are these are all questions I don't know the answer to. You have one minute remaining. All right, one minute remaining. Um, is that your time, or is that because this call's been that long? It's because that this call's been that long. All right, I love you, boy. All right, love you. Sorry, you having to be this first <laughs> without me. Nah, man, I told you it's okay. All right, love you. Love you too. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.